right, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Matt. I help you with social media tips and tricks. Today, I want to bring a little light to my thoughts on Meta, allowing us to have up to five links in our bio right on our Instagram page. I do not think this is good. I think this is a feature that should have been dropped by Meta three, four years ago. I don't think it's needed now at all. And I honestly think on the back end, it was like one little tiny piece of code that would have allowed them to do that, like switching a one to a five. So my thought is absolutely don't use it. I think it's so stupid. I don't think it's going to help anybody at all. I think right now, the way we sit with digital marketing and you know, it's social media in general. Most people are using sites like Linktree, Standout Store, or anything that else that's comparable out there to create a better looking landing page. That's gonna have your profile picture on it, it's gonna have your name on it, it's gonna have links to your other social media sites on it. So that's something where if you use the embedded meta feature, you're losing access to a lot of this stuff to brand yourself out and get more traction on your other channels. So. I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna do a little pump on what I do. I'm gonna actually break down exactly what I do. So in my profile on my Instagram account, I have a website. It's matsino.com. I went and I purchased the domain. It was literally like $3 for a year or something like that on GoDaddy. Totally doable in the fact that it's easy. Anybody could do it. Anybody could go to GoDaddy and do that. So I would highly recommend you go to GoDaddy and purchase a domain exactly or if not as similar to your instagram handle or your brand as humanly possible then i what i did is i went to stand.store i created a admin account or i created an account there so that's going to allow me to start creating offers i chose stand because i felt that at the time it best fit my needs and i actually really like it right now um, there's also another good one I'm very bullish on and that's system IO, but that's very intricate and that's like a whole nother like series. So with Stan, um, I keep it very basic right now. I have one link. I have one offer. I have one thing on my page. So you go to my page right now and it's literally going to be, um, my name, the links to all my social medias, like my Pinterest, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Facebook, my YouTube, all of it's there. Then I have one offer one free offer that's it um and because i talk about social media tips and tricks because i focus on reels because i know what i'm doing i'm offering you something that's along those lines so i'm getting more clicks and more interest because people are interested in that offer so now turn around and you're like man uh, you know but i have two or three different offers i have all this stuff i want to do and that's the great thing about something like stan is you can now take all of this information. You could basically pipe that offer and then you can start emailing out people, engaging their interest and talking to them and, and figuring out what they need. You also now know people are clicking your link. You could probably find out who they are on Instagram and you could start going into DMs and talking to people too. So don't rely too heavily on your link. Let your link be the back catch. Let your link just capture emails and build that up. So there's two reasons why you want to capture the emails. The first and foremost is you could sell the emails. You could send emails out to these people. Once they give you the email, that's your key to their inbox. That's your in right there. You don't need to worry about like, am I, am I emailing them? Should I email them? Like, no, they give it to you. You use it. You start, you slam it. You slam their inbox. You go for it. Um, and the second is, you know, we're living in a day and age where I could lose a channel on social media just like that, just in the, in the, in a heartbeat. So now it allows us to basically rebuild very quickly our social media once we have it, their email. So I'm going to also break away and talk about that with affiliate marketing because I know a lot of people who follow me, they do affiliate marketing. They have two, three, four, five different offers from all these different affiliates. That's great. Don't flood that link in the bio. Absolutely don't do that. When I go to somebody's link and I'm like, holy shit, what the fuck are they doing? It looks terrible. Like, I hate when I have to scroll down and it's more than one page on my phone. As soon as I open up somebody's links, if I'm vetting them, and I see that they have more than two affiliate offers, I'm out. There's no reason for me to like proceed with that person further. Because in my mind, it's like they're just trying to out there, trying to, trying to get traction on everything instead of doubling down on one thing and hitting that hard. So with that, it's okay to have the multiple affiliate offers and I would put them off to the side. I would not make them very well known. If, 
you know, I don't think you need to be promoting these links constantly because if you're promoting to somebody who doesn't want the offer anyway, you're doing yourself no justice. You're not getting a link click, you're not getting the sale, you're not getting conversions, you're not getting money. Now, if you're targeting the people by getting them into that first offer and then feeling them out and saying, hey, what suits you best? Now you can tailor your offer to them and you can be more personal. And the minute you make that connection, that personal connection, you're gonna start making those sales. So I think that's what's gonna help a lot of people too. So when Meta is now offering having like five links in there, people are gonna go ahead and they're gonna be like, man, I'm gonna max that out. I'm gonna add all my shit in there. Absolutely don't do that. Keep it back, put one and keep the system you have in place. Don't use the fancy shit that Meta's throwing at us right now. It's not worth it. It's not worth it to you. It's not worth it to them. It's not worth it to us. It's not worth it to anyone. So hopefully you like this video. Feel free to subscribe. Shoot me a message. Connect with me on Instagram, Facebook, wherever you want to connect with me on. More than happy to talk about my thoughts on Meta, my thoughts on affiliate marketing with links and email marketing and things like that. As always, thanks and talk to you guys later.